Oak casks and barrels are being used to age and transport spirits for hundreds of years. So what's so special about oak? I'm sure you would like to know. Hello, Namaste, I'm Kalpana. Welcome to the Queen's Cat. I'm here to take you through this wonderful journey called the water of life. Let's together venture into this world of whiskey. Are you ready? Pour a drink, grab a chair. Let's get started. In the beginning, it was the earthenware and pottery which was a preferred option to age and transport the spirit. And there were two types of the pottery that were mainly used. Alcohol was fermented and aged in large earthenware jars called dolia, while the smaller amphorae were used to store it. Their ability to be tightly sealed meant they could keep wine in good condition for years and they are a key factor in the evolution of the wine cellar in the classical era. Having said that, pottery wasn't the only option. 3000 years old, tightly lidded bronze vessels have also been found in the Yellow River Basin of China, which contained wines made from rice and millet that had been flavored with various herbs and flowers. Ancient wine was first fermented, stored and transported in clay vessels. By the early centuries, clay vessels were replaced by wood barrels. So how did oak barrels come into being? One of the first mention of wood being used in the alcohol industry was from the Greek historian Herodotus who wrote about wine being shipped to Mesopotamia using casks made from palm wood and then there is also a mention of barrels being developed by the Celts. The Celts were the northern European tribes who lived in the Alps around 350 BC. They used a barrel shaped watertight containers made from wood that could be stacked or rolled easily. For about 2000 years barrels were the most convenient type of storage and shipping containers. All types of bulky goods right from gold coins, grains to nails were shipped and stored in these containers. Barrels just made sense. They were easy to ship, held more than bags, they were sturdier than clay pots and could be stacked and rolled with ease anywhere. Oak casks have been used to age and transport spirit for hundreds of years. The first spirit to be aged and transported in oak would have been French brandy, probably in France or Spain during the 11th or 12th century. No one know for sure as there are no records. But it's a fair guess for two reasons. One. Brandy was the first spirit produced in Europe and it almost certainly happened in France or Spain where people were already making wine. And two, oak casks were the standard way of storing and transporting most goods for the majority of the last thousand years of human history. Aging spirit for the purpose of flavoring them almost certainly started as an accident because oak barrels were already being used for storage and transportation. They would have been used to store spirits in the oak barrels in the same way that they used for other commodities such as wine, salted meats, nails, gunpowder, pretty much everything that required to be stored and moved from one place to another. Once a spirit had been sitting around in the barrel for a while, medieval distillers and traders would have noticed the improved flavor and decided to age spirits like brandy, whiskey and rum deliberately. It's important to note though that until the 18th century, the vast majority of spirits, whiskey included, would have been drank unaged and uncut with only the wealthiest people drinking aged spirits. In fact, 
when we observe the history of the maturation process whiskey was not always a mature drink people used to consume it in its new make spirit form after distillation that is with very high alcohol without waiting in barrels it was an alcoholic drink with a very hard sharp and burning aroma since the barrel were only used for storage and transport from one place to another it had no function or importance as to which type of wood it would be transported in a barrel but miraculously when the whiskies waiting while being transported are drunk and have a much more suitable and soft character the whiskies have been kept in barrels and the maturation period has begun In 1814 a whiskey distiller named Andrew Usher began aging his whiskies in the used sherry casks that imparted a unique flavor to his whiskey this method of cask aging quickly caught on and soon many other scottish whiskey distillers started using sherry casks to age their whiskey this became a popular casks there maturation is perhaps one of the most important stages in whiskey production because it has been said by whiskey experts that 70 to 75% of a whiskey's character is formed during the maturation stage so what's so special about oak oak is an amazing gift from nature perfect for building casks It's fast growing so it can be harvested and regrown quickly. It's naturally strong and flexible so it can be bent into curved barrel staves and can withstand impacts without breaking. It's got a tight grain so it will hold liquid without leaking. It's got antifungal and antimicrobial properties which means it can store food and drink for long periods without spoiling. Finally, the natural sugars and other flavors locked up in the wood add all sorts of complexities to wine, beer and spirits. Let's look at the another aspect of the barrel which is aging and charring. Where did that come from? Barrel charring is a procedure where the interior of a barrel is ignited using a flame with the barrel allowed to burn for a specified time depending on the level of charring required. The options are 1 to 4. Charring the wood actually primes the wood which impacts the spirit's flavor in several important ways that have nothing to do with smokiness. charring essentially opens the wood up now where did this procedure of charring come from short answer no one really knows but there are some very interesting and theories about its origin the practice has been traced back as far as the 15th century when cognac distillers in france would store their spirits in charred barrels but why It's possible that charring was simply a byproduct of coopering practices. The barrel maker would toast the interior of a stave in order to make it more pliable and able to be bent inward. Over time, distillers might have noticed that a heavier level of char imparted better flavors to their spirit. and the process could have been a gradual evolution that spread slowly over time it's reasonable to assume that this practice could easily have made its way to kentucky amongst the waves of scotch and irish immigrants it's even possible that kentucky distillers began to char their barrels like the cognac producers in france to appeal to the french settlers in new orleans where the whiskey was often shipped another popular theory is a little less savory hundreds of years ago distillers did not have a good judgment in their tastes and it was a common practice to reuse barrels other spirit barrels sure but also barrels that might have stored things like fish 
pickles or hog parts whatever they were in picky in order to get rid of those offensive flavors from the barrels distillers would deeply char the interiors to avoid contaminating their spirits with fish forward notes Eliza Craig was a well-known Baptist preacher and an entrepreneur in the late 1800s. He had a farm where he distilled spirits. The story goes that on one fateful night his distillery caught fire. Fortunately, he was able to save up some of the whiskey and some open barrels. Instead of throwing away these charred barrels, he still used them to send whiskey across the river to his customers and what came out was totally a new product which was full of flavors and beautiful colors that spiked the whiskey inside the charred barrels then we also have the other side of theory which comes from the british science advisory and william nicolas in the later half of the 1700s british scientists were studying ways to preserve water for longer before it went stagnant on ships they discovered that charring the barrels helped keep things sterile and allowed the water to stay good for longer however the barrel charring also led to new flavors being taken on by the water In the 1806 chemist William Nicholson published a short description in a chemistry journal detailing the results of his study into the effects of charred sterilized barrels for purposes other than storing water as more companies began trying this method to improve consistency and flavor It supposedly became a standard for the whiskey aging process to use charred barrels. One thing he noted was that spirits dissolved some part of the wood and took on the qualities that were desirable for taste. It also protected the spirits via char sterilization leading to more consistent products. Well, Whatever the theories or stories may be one thing that everyone seems to agree on is that there will probably never be a definitive answer to this question so any time you hear a colorful story that claims to so know the truth it's okay to be a little skeptical sometimes the discussion is more fun than the answer however we may not know for sure who invented barrel or the barrel charring procedures but the world is glad that they did so let's raise a toast to thank those pioneers thirst and manifest destiny for the current glory of our ambrosia that i am holding in my hand cheers to this water of life before we end this episode a little fact Macallan the Reach 1940 is considered to be one of the oldest whisky to have spent maximum time in the cask. It was aged for 81 years before bottling and is one of the first collection to be sold for dollar 340,000 at 2022's Sobeys auction, making it one of the most expensive whisky in the world. I'm sure you like this episode on casks and barrels for many such exciting stories on whiskey stay tuned here with me on the queen's cut until next time be good drink responsibly after all whiskey people are good people cheers